If you just don't give a damn about an introduction, there's a description below with timestamps of everything we're going to talk about today. Now that includes to use searing or not, a bit about map details, the scopes in this game, and shooting at moving targets. Anyhow guys, after making my last video, I want to say thank you for all the subs I got, that was amazing. I got suggested to make a follow up video on learning to shoot across distance. So here it is, enjoy. There's two ways to learn to shoot across distance in this game. The first is obviously to use the scope indicators where you lift your weapon and shoot accordingly. Like this. Now the second one is zeroing. If you go with the second one, I suggest you rebind if you have them, the thumb buttons on your mouse to zeroing up and down. Rather than using page up and down because that's kind of far away and you either let go of your mouse or your movement keys. Talking about the map. That's a very good tool to learn how to shoot when you're not comfortable shooting across distance. Now we have the big yellow boxes which indicates a thousand meters equivalent to one kilometer. And we have the smaller boxes within which are a hundred meters each. Ten of those equals a thousand. You can then use this to measure your target's distance. Let's say there was a guy over here, just an example. Then I would need to zero about 300 meters. And that's how you use the map. Down in the minimap, we have ourselves in the center, and there's 400 meters across. That will indicate that there's 200 meters to each side from us, from our perspective. Now we can use this information on how to shoot across distance if we were to shoot a guy over here at the mountain, or, well, you wouldn't shoot anybody over here, because there's only one way down. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that guy's got to be like, what? Is that you, Jesus? My savior? How the fuck you get down there, huh? Give me your loot. Now I will say about the map, it's a good tool to get started to learn how to shoot. But once you get more comfortable, you don't really pay that much attention to it anymore. But for new players, it's a nice tool to learn how to place your scope or how much to zero. Now for the next part, we're going to go over the following scopes. The 4X, 8X, 15X and the VSS and see what the different indicators mean and learn how to adjust accordingly. Whether you play with zeroing or without, there's some, t some stuff in there for you to know. All right, and here comes the King Scope, the 4X. My personal favorite, personal preference. Now, if you take a look at the numbers here, there are some indicators already, but at the top, we'll zero in at about 100 meters, of course, and then 250, right below the triangle, at the bottom of the triangle, then 400, 500. Anything below that or above that, you'll probably not use, but it's there. Now there is actually more to this scope as you see the triangle. Why the hell would they put a triangle in this scope? Well, if the shoulder width matches up, he should be around 250-300 meters out. So you know how to zero with it instead if you do not use the indicators to move your scope above. So there's both for zeroing and for lifting the weapon. Which is also why this was not a headshot. The 8 times scope. This is a funny one. Uh, I mean, there's all these markers, but will you ever use anything else than the top and the second? I think the second is 900 or 1000. I messed it around a little bit with it with a friend, but couldn't really seem to figure out which one of them it was. So it's one or the other. Now the rest of them are going to be so far away that, I mean, will you ever have use for it? I don't think so, maybe. That is one sexy sound. Shoot for the center of the red cross. Now for the bonus gun, the VSS. Uh, fun weapon. Yeah. It's pretty, it's fun to use, yes, but a good one. <laughs> nah, debatable. Now let's try and mark 300 meters out. We can see here in the scope, 100 meters, 200, and 300. Now the bottom thingy magic has something to do with you measuring the height of an enemy within it, but I don't think you'll ever have use for it. Hitting targets on the move is probably the hardest thing to grasp and become good at. Personally, I feel like sticking to one scope means an example. I stuck with the 4X and I feel like I'm learning to get better at it just by staying with one scope. That is up to you how you want to do it. That's just the one tip that I wanted to add to this. Now, you might, if you come from other games like Ama or some survival games that has Bullet Drop 2 and 
such it might be an easier task for you but if you come like from games like counter-strike well then shit man you gotta you gotta start rock bottom you know just keep shooting trying eventually you'll get better at it there's nothing else to do really anyways that's it for this video uh suggestions in the comments for the next one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I already have a few in mind, but if you have something that you want to know about that I should investigate, then fire it up. I will look into it. I want to say thank you again to all the returning subscribers that I got from the last video. That's the best fucking feeling ever. And um, yeah, if you're not a sub yet, click that fucking button. Peace.